I want to bring up a, a performance in, in Shane McClanahan, who continues to just be absolutely dominant, uh, really. It feels like whenever he is out there, his ERA is at a, a 174. He is the favorite to win the AL Cy Young. It, it is interesting in what is it, you know, feels like a down year for Tampa. They still find a way to provide you a guy in the front of this rotation who is just absolutely fantastic whenever they send him the baseball. Yeah, and we'll play the name game here in the AL Cy Young Award winners here because he's been absolutely sensational but doesn't play in front of a lot of fanfare down in Tampa. And if you post his picture alongside of Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole, Shohei Otani, you would know who Shane McClanahan is. Like, who's this guy in here? What's he doing up here? Well, yeah. one of the most dominant pitchers in Major League Baseball. And who would have thought that it would be Tampa, right? Probably everybody. This is what Tampa does. Lose aces and just replace them with even more aces in their, you know, AAA and AA networks down there in their minor league system. It's incredible where you talk about also, I want to bring McClanahan up because, you know, Tampa wants a new stadium, right? Oh, let's play half of our games in Tampa and half in Montreal, or let's go to Puerto Rico for something. That's not going to work here. And quite frankly, if they build it, they still won't come in Tampa. Don't kid yourself, Tampa. Look at Miami. Oh, man, we can't play outside in Pro Player Stadium. It's so hot. It rains. Everybody will come out in droves once you build a new dome stadium on the old site of the Orange Bowl. And it's a mausoleum. It's dead quiet. Hundreds of people go. Not thousands. Hundreds of people go to watch them play. But it's just a credit there to Tampa Bay for saying, we're going to find a guy like Shane McClanahan. He's going to dominate. Where's he going to end up, Kevin? A 1-5 ERA. And also, talking about McClanahan, is he going to get lost? Because, I look, I know. Fans don't vote for the Cy Young. It's baseball writers. They know Shane McClanahan. But when I just said, like, mm -hmm. if you hang him up with a picture and say, which one of these four pitchers do you know? That's obviously Shane McClanahan is the one that most people would pick because they don't know. Does he lose a name game to Verlander, Cole, and Otani at the end of the season if he's comparable even better? McClan we can't give it to McClanahan. Boy, it sounds just so much better to give it to Garrett Cole and the New York Yankees. I don't, I don't think so. I, I feel like for the Cy Young race, all, all in all, like the numbers are dead. I would think MVP would probably end up more narrative maybe than, say, the Cy Young situation would. McClanahan right now in the American League, you know, leads in strikeouts and ERA. He's got the highest war for pitchers. I mean, he's he's doing every, he's got one less win than Verlander, who has the most in the American League. I mean, there isn't a box that McClanahan isn't checking. And at least... Tampa Bay is going to be able to say, hey, we are, you know, in the playoff mix if if that maybe it makes the difference. But again, you know, Robbie Ray last year, right? DRS was able to beat out of Garrett Cole, who uh, was kind of really the only other option there in that race. So I, I hear what you're saying. I don't think that's the way it would go.